what's going on guys and welcome or welcome back to blender in so in this tutorial we're gonna learn how to rig a box so that we can animate in this way so without a further ado let's get started uh, i'm using blender version 4.3 so as you can see we have a basic cube over here we're just gonna delete that cube as we don't want and i'm just gonna enable my screencast keys so that you can see what i'm pressing on my keyboard and then we're gonna add a plane and I'm just going to scale this in Y axis. So S to scale and Y to scale in Y axis. And go to edit mode by pressing tab. And press 2 on your keyboard to go to line select. And I'm just going to select this line over here. As you can see, this line is selected. And I'm just going to extrude this line in Z axis for 2.4 meters. So E to extrude z to uh, press z to extrude in z axis and press 2.4 on your keyboard so that we get something like this and i think this is a little bit too much so i'm just gonna go with the uh, 1.4 so 1.4 so that we get something like this and we're just gonna extrude this again in x axis so i'm just gonna press e to extrude and x axis and I'm just going to make sure that it aligns to this uh, end over here. So again, we have extruded already. So I'm just going to press G on my keyboard to move it in X axis. So I'm just going to move this ever so slightly like this so that it is aligned with this line. So once you achieve that, we have our uh, top half of our box. And now select the bottom three lines and we're just gonna shoot this in z axis again 1.4 meters so that we get a complete box so now we have to make a opening animation so before you do that you just uh, save your box animation so that it doesn't crash uh, and lose your uh, progress so i'm just gonna save this and now what i'm gonna do before i add armature or anything else I'm just gonna go back to tab, I mean edit mode, and select this face, this one, uh, this line, and press Shift S, and I'm just gonna select cursor to select it, and go back to object mode. Now I'm gonna press Shift A, and under armature, I'm gonna add a single bone so that uh, now we can see our bone is placed over here. Uh, this is where we want our bone to be placed, so exactly it's over there. And then we're just gonna go back to object or edit mode by selecting the, selecting the cuboid and select this line, shift S, closer to select it. And then again go back to object mode and select our armature and just select this ball or spear and press shift S and we're just gonna select this so that it places real like aligns properly. And we're just gonna do this a couple of times. So again, we'll select our uh, cuboid and select this edge over here. This one, not this one, the top one, this thing. So make sure you, when you're selecting, make sure you select properly. So this thing and press shift S and cursor it to select it. And then we're just gonna go back to object mode and select our armature. And we're just gonna select our uh, spear of our armature and press E to extrude and we'll extrude this in X axis so that we get something like this and you're just gonna place it randomly and press shift S and select selection to curse so that we get something like so once you achieve that uh, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna press shift uh, tab control tab to go to pose mode over here and then you can just make it pose however you want so uh, what we'll do is we're gonna select our first armature and go to armature constraint and under here we're gonna add, add a constraint called copy rotation and then we're gonna add a target armature and target boon so uh, before you do anything else I just want to go to data and under data we're just gonna you know expand the viewport display and over here i'm just gonna check the names so that we know which bone is which 
so it really helps okay and then we're gonna go to object constraint obviously you have to select the bone number one i mean the second bone we just extracted and we're gonna add a constraint called copy rotation and make sure you're in bone constraint not the normal constraints and then we're just gonna select our armature as target and bone as the bone so this is our bone so we're just gonna select that over here and under target we're just gonna select our local space and for the owner also we're gonna select local space so now when you select our bone and rotate this in y-axis we get something like that so that is what we're gonna we wanted to achieve and we have achieved and now we're just gonna have to place our bones over here in this place so we're just gonna add a another three bones so to honor in order to add it we're just gonna go back to object mode and select our cuboid and go to edit mode we're just gonna select this line over here and shift s cursor to select it and we're gonna go back to you know object mode select our armature and over here we're just, we're just gonna select our bone this bone and then we're just, we're just gonna press shift d and this and just we're gonna place it somewhere else and press shift s selection to cursor so that it gets selected to cursor like that and we're just gonna do the same thing twice so again we're just gonna select our keyboard shift s press it to select it again we're gonna go back we're gonna select our armature and we're just, we're just gonna select this bone and shift d and we're just gonna place it somewhere else and press shift s and selection to cursor so that it is it is placed over here and once again we'll do that We'll select this line over here now cursor to select it again we're gonna select our armature shift d place it somewhere else shift s selection to cursor so now we have our armature setup so now when you go back to pose mode uh, and rotate this in y-axis these bones won't do anything that's because we don't have any object constraint so we'll add our object constraint to this bone so again we we'll add a copy rotation node and target as armature and bone as the bone and then if you select the target as local space for the boot uh, if you then if you just rotate this in y-axis you just can see that this bone is rotating this way and we don't want that uh, we want our bone this bone this bone to go like this so to achieve that there's a simple trick so what i'm gonna do let me just clear it just so to achieve that what i'm gonna do is that i'm just gonna go back to edit mode and press n on your keyboard to get this tab and under uh, view under item there's this tab over here that's called rule so before you do anything you're just gonna go to um yeah you're just gonna go to data and uh, over here we're just gonna check the axes so now we can see we have our axis over here as you can see this is the z axis this is the x axis so now if you make sure the bone is selected and if you go to the item and roll this you can see it's rolling so uh, that's how we create this so i'm just gonna roll this to 90 degrees and go back to pose mode and we'll try to rotate this bone uh, obviously you can see it is the other way so i'm just gonna go back to edit mode and set the uh, roll to minus 90 degrees and then if you go back to pose mode and rotate this bone in y-axis you can see it is rotating in this way so we're just gonna do the same thing to this bone as well so i'm just gonna go back to edit mode select this bone and this for this bone is gonna be 90 degrees and for this bone is gonna be um, 180 degrees so if we come back obviously you haven't added any constraints to this so we'll just add a constraint so go to bone constraint and add a copy rotation constraint armature 
bone and local space so as you can see this is going this way this is going this way and we'll add a again we'll add a you know copy rotation constraint to this as well so armature bone local space local space and now we have achieved our rig so now we have to parent this rig to our keyboard so to do that we are just gonna go to object mode obviously I'll just clear the animation right so we'll just go back to object mode and under we show so to parent this bones to this keyboard we're just gonna select our keyboard first and then we're gonna select our uh, armature and press ctrl p and we'll get this nodes and we're gonna select this thing parent with empty groups so then what are you gonna do is you're gonna select the keyboard and then go to edit mode and press t on your keyboard to go to face select and we're just gonna select the keyboard uh, i mean the faces and go to data properties and as you can see this face has this bone over here respectfully so we're just going to select that bone and press assign and we're just, going to, we're just going to do the same thing to all of them so for this side this bone bone number two so we're going to select the bone number two press assign and same with the third one and the first one and the top one as well so now if you go back to um pose mode by selecting the armature and rotate this in y axis we get something like so that's what we really wanted and uh, we can just add a uh, object in this middle and uh, create a you know box opening animation like i showed you in this intro and uh, i think that's it for this tutorial guys if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you loved it please give it a sub as it really appreciates me to do content like this and yeah thanks for watching guys